Hello everyone, this is Ashish Saini from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. In our today's session, we are going to learn about the dynamic links or let's say we will see how to add the dynamic links to your Asa chatbot. Like in the last session you have seen, what we have done is we have just added the static links that you can only set once and after that you cannot change it further. So similarly, we are going to shift to the next topic which is the dynamic link. So the name itself says you can dynamically change the link further. So in short, once you have set the link, it's not necessary or it's, or it's not compulsory that you have to use that particular link only. After that, you can do the modifications in your logic using your programming and at that time what will happen you can dynamically change that link to some other link so this is how you are going to work with your dynamic link now let's see how we are going to add the dynamic links to your rasa chatbot so let's go back to the program so here you can see this is the complete static link which i have created till now so here this is the way where you have just added the static link now what I want to do next is here you can see this is the story file this is the data set this is configuration this is domain so this is all the things right but if in case you want to add the dynamic link at that time you cannot add all the things like this without the programming language right so in short now what I have to do is I have to use the programming language and the programming language that I want to use with your Rasa chatbot or let's say the Rasa chatbot uses a language which is Python programming language right so this is what I have to do right now so for that we are having one action.py file which is by default created when you have just created your Rasa chatbot project for the first time at that time it has already created this now you have to double click on this when you will double click on this you will get this basic program which is by default has been commented right but if in case you want to use it or let's say if in case you want to check like how this code works for that what I will do is I will just uncomment this part so let's just uncomment this so right now I have just uncomment this part right so this is the action file so and this action file is the same just like this templates inside this we are having this utterance action so these are the utterance actions which you can call without customizing you can directly set whatever you want to set and accordingly it will be called according to the story right so similarly in the action file these are the action file which you can call in the same way like you are doing with the utterance action but the thing is when you will call the action file at that time you are not going to do the static part here you are going to do the complete dynamic part Right, so this is why we are going to use it and there are other options or let's say there are other reasons why we are going to use this action file is like if in case you have to call some APIs or if in case you have to do some booking program for example let's say you are having a voice chatbot right you can use your Rasa chatbot for making your voice bot right so in that case what you can do is you can just use your Rasa chatbot and you can just combine that Rasa chatbot with your Python program so that whatever text your Rasa chatbot will uh, take from you and accordingly whatever output it will provide you you can just use that text part and you can convert it into the speech part so this is what uh, it's gonna happen it's gonna make your voice chatbot right so this is how it's gonna happen now let's see what actually is going on here so for that what I have to do is this is the action file and in here you can see it is one class and inside this class you are giving it some name and inside this class you are having two methods one is the name and the second one is the run so the first one is the name and this is the name which is being used when you will use it inside your domain file so in short whenever you are going to add your action file or let's say whenever you are going to add your action inside your domain file because it is necessary that you have to add that action inside your domain file so that part you have to add inside your action and the part that you are going to add or let's say the name that you are going to add here is this one action underscore hello underscore world this is the same name which has been specified here so this is how you are going to use it here and after that inside this you can see 
def run so inside this run this is another method which you are going to use here and inside this you are having two things the one is the dispatcher the second one is the tracker so tracker is what tracker will keep the record of all your conversation like whatever conversation is going on what is the current state what is the previous state whatever entities it has fetched whatever intent name it has fetched. so whatever is the complete detail about your chatbot it will keep the track of all those things similarly you're having the dispatcher like for now what we are going to do is we want to make a static link right so in that case what i want to do is whatever is the changes in your link i will just make the changes in here inside your action file and similarly whatever changes or whatever changes has been made in my link i have to update that inside my chatbot and that will be over here like for now i'm going to use this utter info or transaction right and inside here what i want to do is i want to uh, write some a variable over here so that instead of passing this link directly I can use that variable to refer to the particular link and that link will be a dynamic link so this is how we are going to link it over here so for that we are going to use this dispatcher right so this is how we are going to use the dispatcher and the tracker here and this tracker and dispatcher will give you all the possibilities like how you can make your Rasa chatbot more powerful and more reliable right so this is how it's gonna happen and one more thing like uh, here we are going to use the python programming language and if in case you don't know anything about python or let's say you are just a beginner in the field of programming and all then don't worry uh, i'm sending a link in the description below you can just check that link and inside that link i am having some tutorials regarding the python and you can just check them at least you will get the basic understanding of all the things whatever has been covered inside python so this is a basic link so it will be very easy for you to understand python over here and after that you can directly switch here so this is how it's gonna happen and this is the action file where what i'm doing is this is the name which has been specified similarly this is the run method which has been called and for now I am going to use this dispatcher dispatcher dot utter message so right now I am using this function from this dispatcher so what this will do is this will take a message or let's say this will take a custom message from you and whatever message you will write here this message will be passed to your chatbot or let's say in reply your chatbot will reply with this text which is hello world so this is how we are going to do it here so this is the complete program for your action file uh, let's say this is the basic example part right and one more thing when you want to use this action file what you have to do you have to just copy this name and accordingly you have to call this inside your stories right because whatever uh, story or whatever conversation you want to make with your chatbot you have to make it according to the story part right so what i want to do is instead of calling this utter right now i want to just call this action right so for now uh, just for the example but just to make you understand i am just using this part so what will happen is this will just be called when you will uh, say like uh, i want to know more about your website so in response what your bot will reply bot will reply with your this action hello world and what does this action file says this says hello world so this is how it's gonna happen and one last thing to do with this so for that you have to go to the endpoints dot file and here you are having these two lines action underscore endpoint and this is referring to a URL and this URL is the server for your action file right so because what happens is whenever you want to run your action file or whenever you want to run any action with respect to this action.py file you have to start a server for your action file right so in that case i have to just uncomment this part so that whenever i will run my rasa chatbot at that time i can run this action file and accordingly whatever responses you want to make it can make according to this action file right so this is how it's gonna happen and now i'm done with this part let's open the terminal and let's just train this rasa train 
and for now what i'm going to do is i'm just training this and accordingly just for the understanding part i have used this action and it will just display you the hello world because uh, you know this is not the main task for today because a main task is to make the dynamic link right so this is not the dynamic link so let's just run this and let's just check whether your action is working fine or no right so this is how you are going to do it now when you will run rasa x your rasa x will be started over here right so just go here and just make it active and one more thing you have to do here you have to open one new terminal and inside this terminal when you will run rasa x parallelly what you have to do you have to run this command rasa run actions so what this will do is this will run your this action.py file right so automatically this will call this and your this server will be started from here right so this is how it's going to happen now just run this so when this will be run then after that we will go back go back and let's just talk to your bot now let's say i want to no more about your website now press enter let's see what reply i'm going to get here so here you can see when i said i want to know more about your website so it has just picked this is the more underscore info intent that's correct similarly with response what the chatbot is replying with action underscore hello underscore world so this is what this is what which i have set here in the story part right so this is how it is just calling here and this is hello world and this hello world i haven't specified inside this domain file where i have specified this i have specified this inside this action dot py file right so this is where your message is coming from in rasa using your action dot py file right so this is the basic example for your action dot py file now let's just close this and let's understand how to add the dynamic link to your rasa chatbot now just close this for con closing this you have to close this by using this shortcut control c don't use control z otherwise it will leave your services on and you have to turn it off manually right so for now just close it like this do the same thing for here right so this is what i have done now now after that what i have to do is i have to just make the changes over here right so for now let's go to the domain file first because here i cannot set this static link right so for that let's just uh, remove this and also remove this part and put the curly bracket set and also write a variable name over here and one more thing just give a space here right and inside this this is a link now what this link will do is this link name will work as a variable for you and this variable we are going to specify inside this action file so whatever a value you will pass for this variable that value will be passed to your domain file for your utter underscore info action right so this is how when you will call your action at that time your action will say here is the link to our website and after that there will be your website so this is how you are going to do it now let's go to the action file and inside this let's specify how to do it and for now let's do one thing let's just make this as comment now dispatcher dot utter template now inside this what you have to add you have to first pass the argument where you want to make the changes to or let's say where you want to send this custom or let's say where you want to send this dynamic link right so i want to send this to this utter underscore info so i will just add it utter underscore info so i am having this now comma after that you are having second argument here you can see tracker so we have to add this as tracker comma and after that here you have to specify like what is the name of your variable which you have specified right because this is the custom name which you have set here and this will not be available inside your 
utter underscore template argument right so here what you have to specify you have to specify link is equals to let's say i am giving it a variable as link and let's just add this here link is equals to within quotations just add this part right so what will happen here is when you will just run this part this will just uh, refer this link and it will just go where this link is and what is the value of it so the value of this is this website and this will take it here and when this will fetch this part it will just go to the domain file and inside this it will just add it here so this is how it will just update the value or let's say it will update the dynamic link here right so this is how it's gonna happen and right now I'm talking just about a single link which I'm having here but if in case you're having a multiple links right at that time what you can do is you can just use your any uh, logic let's say for now if in case I'm having three links with me and I want to call any one of it randomly right so at that time what I can do is I can use the random function and using that random function what I can do I can randomly call any of the links from there and that link will be called over here so this is how what we can do we can use the logic and we can just set the dynamic link here right so this is how we can add the dynamic link here now what I have to do is like here you can see I have made the changes in the domain file and I have made the changes in the action file right so I have made the changes in the domain file so that's why I have to uh, train the model again so let's just train it again and for the action file if in case you have only made the changes in the action file at that time you don't have to train the model again what you can do is you can just close this or let's say you can terminate the action file and again run it so at that time it will automatically update the changes now just run rasa x so this will run it and here just run rasa run action so this will run your action file right so this is how we are going to do it now your chatbot is here go to the models first uh, let's update the recent model here right so now just talk to the bot let's say I want to know more about your website press enter so here what will happen here you can see here is a link to a website and what is that so this is how you can see whatever link you have specified here in your action file now this link has been sent to your domain file where you have just specified your variable name and with respect to this variable it has just sent this link and here you can see that link now click on it and it will just redirect to that particular website now whatever you want to know about the particular website or about particular restaurant so this is how you can just check it further right so this is how you can add the dynamic link to your rasa chatbot i hope you have understood all the things very clearly but still if you're having any kind of a doubt or any kind of a query then you can definitely leave a comment below in the comment section and if you have liked this video you can click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any kind of videos from me until then bye bye and thanks for watching this video